Today we're going to take a look at uh, doing an ANOVA in Excel. ANOVA means analysis of variance. Uh, it's a pretty simple test to uh, when you want to see if multiple groups have similar averages or not. It is what we call an omnibus test, um, so we'll talk about that a little bit uh, in class, but it means that you just run the test, it tells you something, and then um, especially when we find significance, it means you have to do more work. So uh, we will talk a little bit about post hoc testing as well. With it. So anyway, if you have data like this, I have uh, four stores that I'm running. Uh, it looks like if we go here and jump down, we start on June 1st through August. We we're looking at kind of like how our summer sales went or something like that, store by store. Um, we can kind of test to see if the stores did similarly or not um, by doing an ANOVA. So if I just go to my data tab, I should have my data analysis tool pack. If I don't, then re remember you gotta go file, options. Um, so over here, file, options, uh, add-ins, Go, and you have to check this little box and hit OK. So then you go to your data analysis tool pack in the data tab. At the top, there's three types of NOVA. We're just going to cover single factor right now, two factors, a little bit uh, more work. We're not going to talk about that today. So ANOVA single factor, hit OK. And all it wants is one input range. So we want to compare so we're 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, so B1. Uh, through, and I'm going to hit control shift down real quick, through E93. So I just want to grab that whole chunk of data in one, one grouping. I'm going to hit labels in first row, since I included the store 1, 2, 3, 4, um, that is not numeric and will cause problems with the math. And then I'm going to tell it where to put it. So I'm going to click output range. I'm going to go here and hit, uh, let's say, G3 and hit OK. Now if I go up to G3, going to give me an output that looks like this. All right, so I mean, we can look at the four up here, kind of their base stats. Each one has 92 days. They have different sums, averages, and variances. Uh, the nice thing I like about this is if you do want to mess with this upper box, you know, we can go up here and sort by average, largest, smallest, kind of put them in order and say, look, store three sold the most, four the second, one, and then two. Um, but what we're really looking for with ANOVA is here. The p-value is 0.267. So the probability that the group means, these four numbers right here are all st uh, statistically the same, or coming from a distribution with the same uh, average, um, is about 27%, which means we would not reject, uh, right? Uh, so we would say that these four are all fairly similar. Uh, no statistically significant differences in group averages. Again, most of the time we're looking for a p-value below 0 0.05, um, uh, and in this case we just don't have it, uh, and so there is no significant difference. So no significant difference in group averages, p-value is above 0 0.05. Pretty straightforward, right? Uh, we can do the same thing again. So let's say uh, we have these four stores, same setup, uh, different data, and we run it. And I'll show you what significance looks like. <clears throat> uh, and again, if you just ran it in the other sheet, this should all be set up exactly the same. So you don't have to do anything but hit OK. Uh, so again, we can kind of look at this top data, average, smallest. So now you're going to see before the top is 49 down to $4,500 per day. So it's about a $400 difference, but the variances were fairly large, you know. Um, now the top is 5,300, so the top one up, the bottom is about the same, 45-ish uh, per day, 4,500 per day, so that the gap kind of grew between top and bottom, and so what that's going to do is going to force the p-value uh, to change, even though the variances did go up a little bit, but not a huge amount. Um, so anyway, now the p-value is below 0.05, so 0 0.003 is definitely less than 0 0.05, so now there is a significant difference in group averages. Um, so when we look at these four averages, they're not all statistically the same. They're not all similar. So um, the trick here is it doesn't really tell us um, what's different. Uh, the ANOVA does not. It just tells us that something is different. So we can't say, hey, store one, two, three, four all have the same average day to day pretty much. Whereas here we could. We can say, you know, there's differences here, but statistically there's going to be differences with variance. And in the next six, you know, three month period, we shouldn't expect uh, store two to be the worst again. Uh, this is probably just due to 
kind of randomness uh, versus um, here we have uh, a true difference, right? So these are different, not only nominally, but statistically, they're actually different averages here. Um, but we don't know what's different. So it could be that store two and store three are similar. They're kind of close to each other. And store four and store one are similar, and they're close to each other. But store one and four are going to, we should expect them to continue to have more on average in store three and two, the way things are going now. Uh, but that may not be true. Maybe store one is different and store four is different and store three is different and store two is different. So maybe all four are different. You know, so there's different groupings it could be. And that's where after the ANOVA, if you find a significant value, you have to do post hoc testing. And we'll talk about Tukey Kramer and some other things um, in uh, class. So anyway, that's how you run ANOVAs. And I will see you on another day.